Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about the Venom movie. The movie was directed by um, Ruben Fletcher and, uh, and the actress Fletcher, I'm just to say. And the actress starring in it are Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, and Riz Ahmed. And this movie is about Eddie Brock and him becoming Venom and all the things he pretty much has to face along the way. Pretty simple movie, not, not, not much to it. And so before I get into the good stuff, I'm going to start off with the bad. Now, the bad part about this movie is... Okay, you got Riz Ahmed's character. He plays Carlton Drake, and he's the bad guy of the film. And he doesn't—he doesn't have any much depth to him. Yes, he wants to save um, humanity in a way, but he's just the bad guy. I mean, he does—he he does, he, he willing to do anything and everything for his goal. He doesn't care who gets hurt, who, who dies in the process. He's just the bad guy. And, and, and as a character and as an actor, he didn't really have much to do in this movie. Not, not really much. And also you have Michelle Williams, who is the girlfriend, sort of, of Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock. And, again, another character who they didn't really give that much to. She has some moments in this, in this movie, but not enough to, to be like memorable or outstanding. I mean, you stand like her, make her stand out anymore than that. So it, that's the case. See, the problem is with this movie is they focus everything on Eddie Brock and the Venom. And the Venom creature and the symbiote. Everybody else, all the other actors in this picture, aren't really that important. Not really that important at all. So, without, without Tom Hardy's performance, this movie would really suck. It would really, really... Without Tom Hardy's performance and, and the Venom character, it would really suck. Because nobody else had that much depth to them. And the movie's not that... that um, it's very predictable, so you know, you know, you know how it's going to go. So, there's not really any huge surprises here. So it's pretty much how how how, um, how the actors portray their characters, the things they do, stuff like that. Um, there's certain scenes with the fighting, and, the, and you got Venom, and you got Riot fighting fighting each other, and you sometimes it's hard to tell each one each one apart sometimes because it was dark, and, and the fight and the, the movie was really fast and erratic, so sometimes you couldn't quite quite tell. But other than that, it was f fine. And I wish, and I, and I wish it was connected to Spider-Man, because I, because I love that whole Venom, how Venom looks with that whole white spider emblem on his chest, because everything about Venom is so connected to Spider-Man, how like how he looks, his powers, all connected to Spider-Man. But since Spider-Man's not really part of this, this is this like the symbiote without Spider-Man, and they, and they did the best they could with the take with, with what they had. It was it was fine. So let's move on to the good stuff. The good part is you have Tom Hardy. His performance is great. And I like him. I like him as, even though he's not portrayed exactly how he is in the combo. Because Eddie Brock in the combo is a butt. And you don't really like him from the start. And he and the reason why he got kicked out of the, um, fired from the paper because he he lied. He lied. He made up. He made up a story. And then um, then when James Jones put it out there, and he found out it was a lie, he had to retract, which, James, which hates, which messed up his reputation. So he he fired Eddie. And that pretty much ruins his reputation out there because he's a liar now. He's a liar. You can't, you can't trust anything he says. You can't trust his story. So it kind of ruined him. And then he went through a depression and he wanted to kill himself. And then you got Peter who was trying to get rid of the suit. And he did. And so you had Eddie Brock's hatred for Spider-Man, hatred from, for, the, for the paper and, and into himself. And when they, they, he sensed that and they merged together, that became Venom. A psychopath, but... Venom, nonetheless. Now, th in this in this story here, Eddie Brock he's more of a, of a good guy. He's a champion for, for the right. I mean, he, he, he sees he sees somebody do something wrong. He wants to expose it to the world and let them know that, and let them let the world know what's going on. But the problem is, he's so focused about being a champion, being a hero, that he pretty much screws everybody else over to get what he wants, which also affects his relationships, affects how, affects his his job, and so he gets in a lot of trouble there. But he's more of a good guy, and when he gets affected by Venom, you see him like battling, like uh, which what, um, which uh, side he should want to take over. Should he try to be still be good, or should let Venom do whatever he wants, or try to control it, and try to, and see them see them learn how to work together and become more of a team and as one individual. But I, but but since, since, since the thing is though, Tom Hardy is the only person that you really f focus on the much in the most in, in this movie. So he's the only one who he, he, he pretty much got the most development. And everybody else. So he pretty much is carrying this movie. And so every scene with with Tom Hardy is great. And when he's and when he's Venom, is fantastic because because the, the whole they got the they got even though it's not completely Venom from the comic books, 
the look is he got the, they got the look of venom they got the, the, the action scenes the, the way he fights is very vicious and ferocious ferocious and, and, and like, like, like an animal but it's controlled too you, you feel you feel this power and his strength when he comes at it so so every time you see venom you're like this oh yes yes but other than that everybody else is just like eh, it's all it's all right yeah so overall this is not really a great movie it's not really a bad movie either it's just all right because like I said before, if, if, if Tom and Hardy's performance wasn't that great, and they didn't get Venom right as a character, this movie would suck. It would really, really suck. And I can understand why the critics, a lot of critics, don't like this movie. And I also see why some of the fans love this movie. I, I, can, see, I can see it both ways. So I think it's going to be a great overall. It's just to see. I still have fun watching it, and it's still enjoyable. It's just that... They focus so much on trying to get Venom right, how Venom looked, how he fights, how he talks, and how he presents himself. They didn't really focus on nobody else. And that's the problem of the whole entire movie. Yeah. But overall, it's still, I, still have, I, still, I still have fun watching it. And I think you can still have fun watching it too. I recommend that. So go check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you will, you will enjoy it. And also, stay to the end. Of the, there's two end credits. There's two. There's two things that happens. There's two things that happens. You got one thing that happens right, right, right after the movie, and you got to stay to the, at the after the end credit. After all the credits go off, there's, there's something even even special happens. That's even more fantastic. Yes, I have to say I, I enjoy that. Hold that. I enjoy that last ending part a lot more than the horror time movie as a whole. But either way, stay stay to the end. So. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about Venom if you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, go check, 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 check it out for yourself. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, shub up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would, would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.